What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I got for you guys, we're going to go over and talk about a new third event that's going to be taking place in Call of Duty. This one wasn't mentioned in the blog post or in the patch notes, mainly because it's actually a secret event and this is going to be the Black Ops reveal event. If you guys remember with Modern Warfare 3, in season 5 we ended up getting the official Modern Warfare 3 reveal event. There was like a little mode that played out, there was also gameplay, rewards you were able to get, a little cutscene that played out. It's going to be the same thing here, but this time they're actually doing it way earlier and they're doing it in season and three reloaded so we're going to talk all about that here in today's video if you find it helpful or informative at any point don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button be sure to check out yesterday's video we went over the winter operator skins are actually going to be coming in the form of bundles if you want the details on that i covered that and then we also talked about all the patch notes for the reloaded update so i'll have those videos linked down in the description before we get into it a quick word from our sponsor messymoddingstore.com it's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators help you complete your mastery camo challenges and much more and the reason why i promote them is they do everything 100% legit without using mods or unlock tools. And not to mention they have some of the best reviews, so check them out. The link will be down in the description. As I was saying earlier, there is a third event coming into Modern Warfare 3 with this update. So far, we're going to have the Vortex Virus mainframe event up until the 8th. Then on the 8th, it's going to get replaced with the UAV event, which is called the U Assist Veterans event. That's going to be lasting until around May 12th. And then towards the end of the season, my guess is they're probably going to have like a minor camo event that's going to go live for like a week. And then once we get towards like the 22nd, the 23rd, towards the end of May, probably the beginning of June is when we're going to end up seeing this brand new reveal event. Now we got a little bit of details. Shout out to the leakers, especially Reality UK, because he did showcase some of the rewards we're going to get. So first off, apparently we may have gotten the COD title wrong. We all thought that it was going to be called Black Ops 5. And this is like the little showcasing that they ended up showing with Microsoft. The assumption was not going to be using the Gulf War title because the little area that they showcase is a little too short for it to be called the black ops gulf war so it's going to be called the black ops and then like a short number a letter we thought it was going to be either v or five look like we were wrong in all that and it might actually be called the black ops six now i will talk about why we believe that in just a second first off we ended up seeing this photo right here that was found in the files this is like the little cerberus uh code name that they are using for the black ops game not entirely sure if this is going to be the full-on logo that they will be using for the next call of duty title but as of right now it's the symbol that represents it we saw it multiple times they even showed it with the xbox announcement it's the three-headed dog and the name apparently they've added more images of that here right now in the files and that is Expected to come out later in the update there will be a black ops reveal event that's going to be taking place in warzone within this season so it's very early compared to the one that we saw in season 5 on modern warfare 2 for modern warfare 3 this time around we're getting it two seasons before right I i'm assuming it's going to be right around the time of the announcement for xbox and they're going to be doing that towards the beginning of june on the 9th forward leaks ended up posting this he said cod 2024 reveal event this season and then he showcases the strings in the files, Jupiter, the name of Modern Warfare 3, Battle Royale, so it's going to be in Warzone Season 3, the season, and it says Cerberus, that's the code name they're using for the new Black Ops game, and then they say Reveal underscore Steel, so that means they're going to be revealing it within this update. And there's going to be other things like challenges, a new mode, and rewards that are going to be involved. There's actually a challenge that was found, so with this Gulf War Reveal event, it says there's a challenge called She Never Lets Me Down, and in there it says in Warzone, get a blank amount of operator kills with an old friend now it looks like somebody might be returning with like the little cutscene and the animation that's probably going to be uh when you jump into the game or this brand new mode someone will narrate it it's sort of like we ended up seeing graves narrate in modern warfare 2 he told you that there's bunkers you're gonna have to destroy i remember there was a bunch of different challenges that you were able to complete each challenge that you did there would be a reward you were able to play the event multiple times because it was like a whole ltm same thing is going to happen here this is one of the challenges that was revealed probably as we get a little bit closer the rest of them will end up getting leaked as well and then someone actually ended up finding a photo near one of the bunkers and it literally says she never lets me down written on the side of the wall and this is bunker seven you can feel free to go into the big map of yours extent and check it out but apparently at this moment right now bunker seven is the only bunker that you are not able to unlock with a key card dropped from a contract meaning that there's going to be something that will come in that let you be able to open it but it's just not time for that yet what are your thoughts and opinions on this if this event does take place towards the end of this month that means we're gonna get a reveal five months before the game actually launches which is probably like the earliest we've ever seen call of duty market a new title anyways on top of this event there's actually a weapon blueprint reward that was found in the files right now and shout out to reality leaks this is the steel weapon blueprint that you will unlock for completing the reveal event now you may notice something about this and it says it has sally written on it 
and there is six tally marks that appear. And this is where people were saying, okay, this might actually have to do with the name of the next Call of Duty title. He also got some in-game footage of this weapon blueprint. One thing that you will notice is that it doesn't say, there's no Mustang here. So usually the left side was Mustang, the right side Sally. And in this case, it's just Sally and Sally. So it doesn't look like the weapon blueprint is completely finished. Maybe uh, we're going to get a different version of this or they're going to update it as we get a little bit closer to the release of this. But in the meantime, here's something that's interesting. It's the six tally marks that they have marked here. According to Charlie Intel, that confirms to him that this is actually going to be called the Black Ops 6 for the reason that he mentioned that we had the original Black Ops. We had Black Ops 2 and 3 and 4. And then we ended up getting Cold War, which was titled Black Ops. And that could be the fifth installment. And then we have Black Ops 6. And that's going to be what they're teasing at the moment right now. So that's what everyone is assuming. Uh, Charlie Intel definitely believes that this game is going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Another reason why it's going to be called Black Ops 6 is the fact that they use tallies instead of Roman numerals. If you take a look at Black Ops 4, it was just four tally marks instead of the Roman numeral, which is IV. In this case, they may just follow the simple route of Black Ops 6, and it sort of does make sense. It fits that little pointy end that we see right here in the direct marketing that we got earlier this week from Xbox. And then on top of all this, apparently all the pre-order bonus cosmetics, the marketing, the photos, the artwork, that's all in the files right now, and it's in the files of Season 4, but it's currently encrypted and hidden, meaning that this is all going to end up being revealed soon. But one thing was revealed, and that is the return of Sergeant Frank Woods apparently he's actually going to be coming in with this new black ops series as a new operator skin and you're going to unlock him as a free operator bonus for pre-ordering black ops 6 so more than likely it's going to work the same way that it did last time as soon as the reveal event ends and you pop up into the main menu the ui is going to get updated with a pre-order page that'll let you showcase and see the photos that we have for black ops 6 then we'll get to see Sergeant Frank Woods here in there. But as of right now, we don't have a photo of him. Leakers just found his name mentioned in the files and he's tied directly to the next Call of Duty title. And he could be the character where they mention get operator kills with an old friend. That might be him that they're talking about and teasing. And what's crazy about this is Reality UK mentioned that he's gonna be an upcoming operator in Modern Warfare 3, not in Black Ops 6. So that means you're gonna be able to use him as soon as you pre-order the game in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and he says right here it is going to be available some people were asking and he said how would you know he said the references in the files that indicate that he will be a playable operator more than likely he's not going to be a playable operator until season 4 because at the moment we don't have photos of him a lot of the operator skins were leaked and he wasn't one of them he's just mentioned and then there's along with him there's also some other operator skins in regards to season four, the battle pass and all that good stuff, which we will be talking about in upcoming videos. But what are your thoughts and opinions on this? Are you excited for this Black Ops reveal event? I'm very surprised they're doing it so early right now, but it might be a good thing because if they're doing it this early, chances are they probably have a lot to go through. I'm guessing because this game had four years of development, they're probably very well prepared and they are ready. And even the marketing should be well prepared. And they're just going to start off maybe by revealing the game. Now, they may also do an alpha test following that they may end up doing a beta to test more announcements maybe a zombie beta who knows what they plan on doing but i'm guessing because it's just so early right now there's going to be so much content involved but what are your thoughts and opinions on this i'm definitely going to make follow-up videos as we get a little bit more information as we get closer if you found the video helpful don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest call of duty news and updates and let me know what are your thoughts and opinions on it being called the black ops 6 would you have preferred the gulf war would you prefer black ops 6 what are your thoughts and opinions but it's been your boy Trizzle. thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace